Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm back out on another exploration in this wonderful countryside, looking at the landscape, the heritage, and of course the nature, and I'm back at Tortington. Now you remember, remember a couple of days ago, if you're watching consecutively, I was at Tortington Church, and I did a church to priory walk. And I surmised, not in that video, but at the time, I didn't put it in the video, that there was a, the likelihood of the A27 that was the, the proposed route or the accepted route was going to go through the landscape. Well, I discovered that that is exactly what's happening. So today, I want to sort of walk as close to where the route is going to be to see just what is going to be lost. So I've looked on the map and I can't actually walk the exact route that the A27 is going to go. So this is the A27 that goes from Crossbush. The intended route is to take the A27 main road which runs from Brighton to Chichester and beyond. And the section they want to do is, well, there's a number of sections, but this particular section is the section that bypasses Arundel. There's been various uh, proposed routes. One of them was through Binstead Forest. I think that's been rejected now. And so this one skirts at the bottom of that, but across farmland. Looking on the map, I have to say that out of, other than widening the A27, it, the existing A27, this does seem to be probably, if you've got to do it, the best route, um, because it doesn't take out um, ancient forest, but it does go over prime farming land. So I'm not happy about any of it, but you know, out of the two, it's probably the better of the, of the two, or however many schemes there were. But this area will get blighted, and it's a shame that either there's been compulsory purchase or that the farmers have just sold the land and made the profit which is a shame. Now, none of my footpath will actually go across that land, but it will go relatively near. So let's see how close we can get and what we might see. So I'm crossing a very large field here. Actually, it is massive. I don't know what kind of acreage it is, 20, 30 acres, who knows? It's a massive acreage and they've got a crop in there just about see the lines of the crop behind me maybe i don't know what the plan is to do with the old part of the a27 will that still just remain as a service road will that be um, allowed to go back into cultivation again uh, will they build on it what will they do if they've got this main road um, or will it just be as I say, a kind of a service road with fewer amounts of traffic. There's a lot of space that's used up for that. They could maybe plant trees there to uh, mitigate the damage that they're doing here. I've just seen a works vehicle, one of the construction. It's not a farm vehicle, definitely not one of those. It's a construction vehicle. And it's just driven much closer to the footpath than actually I thought. Um, so it's well it's 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 at the end of this field in fact so i'm here i don't know if you can hear the silence this is a beautiful tranquil walk across this farm it's going to be blighted because just i guess about 500 yards that way is where the the busy i think somebody said it was four lanes Yes, I suppose it is. It's two each way, isn't it? Four lanes, A27 is going to run. That's going to make an impact. Such a shame. Oh, look at these masterful trees, 
masterful oak trees. There's some beauties along this edge of the field here. That's a train honking in the distance. Absolutely gorgeous and I'm so thrilled that these trees, at least these, are not being cut down by this dreaded road. Oh, this is a lovely, there's a little, a little stream, I guess a drainage stream, I'm, I'm guessing. It's just very still water along here. Ah, oh, it's fascinating to see this beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous area. I've not been here before, which is very remiss of me. But you know, we are the last generation. Yeah. I think we are, I think we are the last generation to really appreciate the landscape, or at least not so much appreciate it, perhaps many of us don't appreciate it, which is a thing that does worry me and concern me a lot, but I think we're the last generation to have it. For the powers that be, the governments, no matter whom you vote in, they all seem to want to blight the very country. They want to build more houses, we hear. Everyone's saying, oh, well, we need more houses. We've got to build more houses. We, this has become a thing that we're supposed to get behind and be positive about. But where are they going to build them? Places like this. This is where they're going to put all these new homes. 500,000, whatever it is. This is where they're going to put them. With roads, concrete, bricks tarmac and I know people laugh at me and think I'm you know a numpty suffering from nimbyism and they say oh but we've got so much land we've got so much wonderful land you know the, the urban thing is like three percent of the land this land all of it is important we can't just keep building on it there are so few places you can go to now where you cannot hear trains or cars or aeroplanes. So few places. And because there's few places, you get more people going to those places to try and experience that peace and tranquility. And then you find it swamped with people. They're just up there, the works vehicle. They're just up there, men in high-vis, orange, doing whatever they've got to do to put this new road in. And it's not just here, it's happening all over the place, all over the countryside. Oh, look at this. Wow. I love it when it goes into a little area like this. This is wonderful. Come to a crossroads, T-junction rather, a T-junction, north and south, and that way back towards where I parked the car, westwards. Eastward is that way. So this would start to range up. I'm not really gonna go much further than this, to be honest with you. Uh, because I wanted to cross this little section and I will come back and uh, perhaps approach this route from a different direction. Just going up the lane just a little bit now before I finish the video today. Just saw this rather gorgeous thatched cottage. I think it's called the thatched cottage. Absolutely beautiful. This is amazing part of the world. Just south of Binstead. 
across from Tortington, quiet bit of farmland, few houses here, there's one just behind me there, horses, beautiful landscape and as I head north I'm going to start coming into the area where it's going to be blighted by the road. That must upset people like in the house that I'm just coming up to here on my right hand side. As I slowly head northwards towards where surely the road has got to come through, it's got to cross here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is it. This is where it's going to cross through, right through, right here. I know that because here is a sign and I've seen only one other protest sign, um, incredibly. There's just not that much um, significant protesting going on about you'd think that there would be signs all over the place to try and stop this to get some general awareness. But this is, uh, this is the only one. So this is where the road is going to come through here, through this maize field to my left, across this field in front of me, and then it'll wind up. Now I'm going to see if I can find another footpath that will take me a bit further on to have a look at more of the countryside that is going to be blighted by th this road. If you're affected by it, I'd love to hear your comments. If you're in favour of it, I'd love to hear your comments. There does seem to be an alternative proposed. Earlier I said maybe this is the best route. I'm not that well informed enough to really, really say. So if there is another route, I'd be interested in having a look at it. I just hate to see the countryside blighted by the noise pollution, as well as, of course, the exhaust. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll do some more explorations on this subject uh, in the future. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.